Hi everybody, this is Eugene O'Loughlin and welcome to my series of short how-to videos. In this video, we're going to learn how to reference data in a matrix in R. So when we want to display data and analyze data in a data set, our data is usually divided into rows and columns. And remember, in a matrix, a matrix will contain data all of one type. So all data would have to be numeric or integer or character based and so on. We cannot have a mix of data types in a matrix. So let's say we want to reference values in that matrix by columns, by rows, and also by individual cells. So let's go ahead and see how we're going to be able to do that. So to do this, I'm going to need a, a, a simple matrix. So let's create a matrix. I'm going to call it a table and assign it using the matrix function. This is how we create a matrix. Matrix open and close brackets. I'm going to create a matrix of 12 values. So I'm you're going to just use a simple uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12 as values in my matrix. I want to arrange these in, in a row. So I want to have four rows in my matrix. So n row is equal to 4. Now, we don't have to specify the columns because I have 12 values. When that's divided by 4, it can only be displayed in three columns, so I don't need to specify that. But what I want to do is specify by row that I want my values to be displayed in a row. So 1, 2, 3 in the first row, 4, 5, 6 in the second row, and so on. So uh, let me make this value a, a T or true. Okay, and so that then should allow us to create our simple matrix. So let me run that. And we can see in the global environment value that we have now a matrix created uh, with um, four rows and three columns in the square brackets there. So let's display our table in the console first of all. So let me print the table and run that piece of code. And we can see our simple matrix here. We haven't any column names. We haven't got any row names. They're just numbered one, two, three, four. But we can see we have our 12 values um, created a, a new matrix called table and we have the values of uh, four rows and three columns. So let's now go about, we want to reference values in this table. So the first thing I'm going to do is I want to reference the rows. So how about if I want to display, I can display as I've just done the entire matrix uh, here, but uh, this is a very small matrix. Uh, clearly for data analysis, you're going to be looking at matrices much larger than this. So let's say I just want to display uh, the row number one of my table. So to do that, I can display the table a variable using square brackets. So be very careful with the types of brackets that you use when you're referencing uh, columns and rows, you're going to need to use square values. And in the square brackets, um, rows are displayed first and columns second. So we divide those by a, co a comma. So one to specify the first row, a comma then, and I'm going to leave the value for column blank. So what this will do is this will just display the first row of my data. So let's run that piece of code. And we can see the values one, two, three, four are displayed. There are the values in the first row of our table. So they are now being displayed here in the console. What about if I want to display say row number three? So that's just a simple thing again of uh, square brackets. Remember it's row first, column second. So row three, a comma to separate that from, uh, a comma to separate that, no value for comma. I'm going to run this piece of code and we can see we're getting the third line in our data set values of seven, eight, and nine. What happens if I tried to display a row that doesn't exist? So our uh, uh, matrix here contains four rows. So let's try and display row number five, square brackets again, five comma blank. I don't, we don't need the blanks in this case here. I'm just putting them in for readability, but that blank represents no value for column in this case. So if I run this piece of code, we can see we're going to get an error displayed because uh, the, t the table vector in this, or table matrix in this case here, does not contain a fifth row. Therefore, uh, it's out of bounds and you will not get any values displayed. What about if I want to display some columns? So remember in my, uh, my uh, matrix call table here, I'm using square brackets to display rows first and columns second. So if I want to display using square brackets, I'm going to put in a blank for rows, comma, and let's display the first column. So table, square brackets, blank for rows, and one for column should display the values in the first column. And we can see here um, that the values, uh, values of 1, 4, 7, and 10. If I scroll back up, we can see column number 1 has the values 1, 4, 7, and 10. Be a bit careful with this because you can see it has displayed those values actually in a row. So we may be very careful to avoid any confusion there. If I want to display a different row, let's say I want to display row number 3. So um, uh, square brackets again, uh, blank space. I don't need it here, but I'm putting it in for readability. Uh, column number 3, 
um, execute this particular line of code, we can see they get the values of 3, 6, 9, and 12, which are in the third column. Let's try and display a column that doesn't exist. So table, let's try and say, for example, display column 5, blank, comma, column 5, run this piece of code, and we can see we're getting the similar error to before because column 5 doesn't exist. So you can see there with the rows that I'm highlighting there that you can um, access individual rows of data. So what any values that are in rows 1, 3, and 5, as I have shown here, or any values in columns 1, 3, and 5 will be displayed. And uh, this is a handy way to be able to display individual columns. Now, supposing I want to display more than one column. Let's say I wanted to display a uh, column, uh, sorry, rows first. Row, let's say we want to display um, rows 1 and 3 together. So table square brackets, and rows first, column second. So uh, I want to display uh, rows one and three, and to do that, I'm going to use the combine operator and put in simply one, uh, one and three in the combine operator, comma after that, and blank then because I don't want to have a column value here. So what this uh, command in line 16 is telling me to do is, is to display rows one and three, they're combined together. So let's run that and see what we get. And we can see we get rows one and three. So one, two, three is the first row, seven, eight, and nine is the second row. Uh, similarly, if I want to display multiple columns, so let's go ahead and create, um, let's display columns one and three. So I'm going to leave the row value blank. Remember, rows first, column second. Combine in here, one and column three, and that should display my row columns one and three only. You can see uh, um, when you display, when we saw before, when one column was being displayed, it displayed it as a row, as a, a row of, uh, of values. But here, as we would expect, it's displaying uh, rows one, columns one and three. Be careful because we can see here that um, the number of column three is actually now two because um, column two has been removed from this. So just be careful. Experiment with simple tables like this before you move on to larger tables. Now, supposing we want to reference individual cells in our matrix. So in this case here, let's say I wanted to select the value that's in row three and in column two. So once again, table, square brackets. And we'll remember, if you can remember that we have rows first and column second. So if I want row three and column two, so that's very simply the value in row three and column two. So let's uh, run this piece of code. And we can see that that value that we get is eight. Now let me go back up to the, scroll back up to the actual data set. So uh, there's row three and see column two. So the value is going to be eight. So we have displayed our inner output here. What value is in row three, column two? If I want to do another one, let's say table, square brackets, row four, column three, for example, if I, this is going to get a different value here. So let's run this and that's going to be 12 because that's the f we have four rows and three columns. So that's going to be the last value in our matrix. And finally, if I try to display a row value, a value in a column, a row that doesn't exist and then a column that doesn't exist. So we know we don't have five rows. We know we don't have five columns, but let's try and run this again. And we're getting the out of bounds error message here. So that's how you reference data in a matrix. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for your attention.